Ajawan. Hindi ko sige nakikita. Sige. Uh, next. Yung term naman, let's recall the term even. So, ano naman yung even? Wala nakaalala ng term na even nung elementary tayo. Sige, kahit sino pwede. Pag nag na lang kayo, class, since hindi ko kasi kayo nakikita, ayaw kong gumamit ng dualess eh. Kasi maliliit, hindi ko siya masyadong makita. Ah, pag mag -re na lang kayo, sabihin nyo na lang yung first name nyo para ma ma maalala ko kayo. Ah, sige. Sino yun yung sasagot? Alimbawa, uh, ma'am, pia... Uh, Pia, uh, even number is a blah, blah, blah. Ganon. Bago kayo magsalita, sabihin nyo muna yung pangalan niya. Okay ba yun? Ah, sige. Sino na nga yung magre-recite? Ay, nawala yung magre-recite. So, uh, <laughs> nahiya tuloy sabihin yung pangalan. Okay, yung even number is, yun yung 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Naalala nyo pa yan. Ang, ayan, ang, ang ano niya, yung counterpart niya is si add. Add, O-D-D. O-D-D-D. So, ang odd numbers naman is 1, 3, 5, 11, 7, and so on. Okay? So, dito sinabi niya, class, examine natin yung statement niya. Bakit kasi naging existential statement? Sabi niya, there is a prime number that is even. Naisip niyo ba kung ano yung number na to? Isa lang kasi siya, class. Ano siya? Two. So, sino yung nagsagot? Hindi sinabi yung pangalan. <laughs> ah, si Joan. Okay. Very good. Tama. Yung exemption dito sa prime number, tapos even siya is si 2. Yun yung, yun yung exemption. Okay. So, kaya siya naging existential kasi nga sinabi niya, sa lahat ng, gen, sa lahat ng universal, merong isang magkakaroon na Ah, uh, naligaw or exemption. So, yun yung existential statement. Okay? So, dapat kasi, di ba, kapag prime, dapat, usually, ano siya, add, halimbawa, 3, 5, 7, 11, yun yung mga prime numbers natin, class, na which is, usually, add number siya. So, nagkaroon ng isang exemption, naging, na nagkaroon ng even, which is, yun nga, yung 2. Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi niya. Okay, next statement, universal conditional statements. So, dito ko sa, sa sinasabi niya, it contains some variation of the words for all. So, an addition, uh, unconditional statement naman contain versions of the word if then. So, dito pinaghalo yung universal and conditional statement. Ayan. So, gumamit siya ng for all and if then for the universal con conditional. Sabi niya, universal conditional statement that is both universe, universal and conditional. So, for example daw, for all animals A, if A is a dog, then A is a mammal. Or, if A is a dog, then A is a mammal. Okay. So, ganun lang. So, sa lahat daw ng animals na A, if A is a dog, then A is a mammal. Nga naman, kasi ito yung universal na statement niya. Then, kinumbay yung if then. Okay? So, ito daw try natin. Fill in the blanks to write, write the following statement. Ito. For all num ito yung statement niya, class. For all real numbers x, if x is non-zero, then x squared is positive. So, rewrite daw natin in different ways yung 
yung statement natin. Okay, so dito, sabi niya, if a real, na, sa letter A, if a real number is non-zero, then, then each square is blank. So, ang kukunin, kukunin natin yung sagot class dito sa original statement. Ito yung mismong pattern. So, kung blank to, ang answer is positive. Okay? Next, for all non-zero number x, x squared is positive. Ito naman yung ano. Anong kasi ng statement to class? For all non-zero number x, x squared is positive. Ito yung universal statement. Nare-recognize nare nyo siya. Dito naman sa letter A, anong, what type of statement? What kind of statement to? If, tapos may then. So, okay, very good. Conditional. And then, dito naman, if, if x blank, then x, then blank. Ano yung lalagay natin? If x is blank, then x squared is blank. So, dito natin siya kukunin. So, if x is, ito na, yung, yung naka-if, ganun lang din yung ilalagay natin. If x is a non-zero real number, so, kasama dapat ito, then x squared is positive. So, yun na rin yung format niya. Okay? So, anong class ito? Ano klaseng statement to? Conditional pa rin. So, ito, yung pinakauna is universal conditional. Okay? Sa letter D, the square of any non-zero real number is blank. O, ano naman to? So, ang answer is positive. Okay? Tapos, all non-zero real numbers have blank. So, the answer is positive square. So, dito, class, nililito niya lang kayo, pero nandito na rin naman yung mga answers. Okay? So, another kind of statement. Existential universal statement. So, combination of existential and universe, universal statement. So, it is a statement that, exist that it is existential because its part asserts that a certain object exists and is universal because its second part says that the object satisfies a certain property for all things of a certain kind. So, for example, there is a positive integer that is less than or equal to every positive integer integer. So, or there is a positive, there is positive integer m with the property that for all positive integers n, m is less than or equal to 0. Ay, to n rather. Okay, so nagets natin yon. Nagets niyo class yung argument niya dun sa statement. There is a positive integer that is less than or equal to every positive integer. So ano ba yung positive integer? Uh, so, greater than, ayan. So, ang inaanan niya dito, class, eh, sabi niya, pag sinabi kasi natin na integers, yung number, yung real number system kasi natin, nakahati siya, class, meron siyang classification. So, yung classification niya is, meron tayo tinatawag na natural numbers. Meron din tayong tinatawag na integers. So, yung integers, meron siyang dalawa. 
positive and negative integers. So, pag, pag integers class, tatandaan nyo, yun yung mga sign numbers kasama si 0, kasama rin lahat ng positive. Okay? Yun yung, yun yung integers. So, yung positive integer, so, sabi, kasama daw dun si 0. Kasama doon si 0. Okay? So, sabi niya, there is positive integer that is less than or equal to every positive integer. So, ang binabanggit niya dito, class, is si 0. Kasi, si 0, di ba, pag nagsimula tayo, pag nagsimula tayo kay 1, di ba, ano siya, magiging less than or equal to 1 siya. Tapos, kapag 0 naman tayo nagsimula, pag 0 naman yung ano natin, halimbawa, 0 less than or equal to 0. So, yung 0 equal siya sa 0. Kaya, nag, merong nag exist na exemption. At ano daw yun? Yun daw yung number na 0. Parang katulad lang kanina dun sa prime number. Okay? So, nagats niya yung argument niya. Meron kasi siya ditong tinutukoy sa argument sa argument niya na exemption. Okay? So negets natin. Okay, next tayo. So 